had a couple of mentions over in the Close Brace Weekly Keybase channel that people wouldn't mind more immutable.js tutorials. So I thought we'd take a quick look at immutable maps, which are like objects, only, well, better, really. Immutable maps have many more built-in methods than JavaScript objects, and of course they're immutable, which means a vastly reduced risk of accidentally changing your data when you don't want to. Much like with the previous tutorial on immutable lists, we're not going to be able to cover even a fraction of what you can do with immutable maps. This is just a brief overview to give you the basic idea and get you set up to explore on your own. Quick note, we're running a Node.js app again for this tutorial. You can find full setup instructions in tutorial 32, and abbreviated ones specific to using immutable.js in tutorial 39. Here's the stuff you'll need for the Node app to work. Whew! Wipe the sweat from your brow! That was tough work! Alright, moving on to our actual code. Let's start by building a map like this. Mr. Corey Smith is now an immutable map, rather than a plain JavaScript object. We can still console log it like an object, but it'll self-identify as a map. Observe. As I'm sure you've noticed, I managed to misspell const. That's quality work. There we go, that's better. So we have our map. We cannot, however, access its properties the way we would a JavaScript object. Watch. Save that. Undefined. We have to use .get instead, like this. There we go. This will seem annoying at first, but I find it useful helps you remember that you're working with immutable values rather than mutable ones. To prove that, let's try to change a value. Save, run. Yep, didn't change. That doesn't work. For one thing, much like needing to use .get to access properties, we need to use .set to change them. And of course, since this is immutable.js, the original map doesn't change. Instead, you're given a new map to work with that contains your changes. Here's an example. If we run this, we should get Boatmaster and El Capitan, respectively. And we do. Immutable maps have a lot of built-in functionality that ordinary JavaScript objects don't have. I could write tutorial after tutorial on all of the built-in methods, but let's just highlight one here. Ever wish you could easily find the name of a key that contains a specified value? Well, dot find key will get the job done for you with minimal fuss. Here's an example. You can see here that find key runs through the values of the map, and then if we have a value that matches a certain, well, value, then it returns the key. Let's check it out. It also helps to save the file. Location, as expected. Need to return to raw JavaScript for some reason? No problem. Immutable has several different methods that allow for quick conversion. You could use .toObject, but that's a shallow conversion, meaning if you had nested immutable maps, they'd stay maps. If you want to deep convert, try .toJS. Here's an example, although since our map is only one level deep, it doesn't matter which of the two we use here. Save it. Oh, let's put a separator in here. We should get charter fishing in 40. And we do, because that is now a mutable plain JavaScript object. Note, of course, that our original map is still a map. The conversion creates a new object. It doesn't modify the original one. We can see that by trying to log a property, getting undefined, and then using .get instead. Or we could use the map.isMap method. We'll do both here. One more separator. Save. Run it once more. We have undefined, 32, and true as expected. 
So there you have it. You now know how to create immutable lists, which are analogous to arrays, and immutable maps, which are analogous to objects. Interested in learning more? Drop me a line or join the Close Brace Weekly public Keybase channel and let me know. Until next time.